Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Before I get into my video today, I thought I would show you a little bit of the beautiful snowfall that we were having this morning. It, the day I'm recording it, it was absolutely gorgeous. Although winter is not my favorite season, I do however think that the snow is just absolutely beautiful. And so I thought I would share a small clip of it here with you. I have not been feeling very well, so I have not gotten full gear into crafting yet as of um, January or what, what day is it I'm recording here? I think it's the 7th, 8th that I'm recording. So I'm hoping to get into it next week. We also had another new grandbaby, so lots happening. Today I will show you all the books that I'm planning on working on for 2023. Excuse my voice, it's still not all the way back to normal. And then I will also show you my huge beautiful craft haul that I uh, got so lucky with at our local thrift store. So many beautiful stamps that uh, I would like to share with you and show you what I haul. Purchased. I was so excited about it, so I thought I would share it with you. I think I will start off with uh, going through my all my different books that I want to work on for the year. And then after that, I will show you my huge craft haul that I did from a thrift store that I'm so excited about. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about the different books that I want to work on. Um, often in the beginning of a new year, I feel a little bit lost on where to start and uh, what I want to work on first and so on and so forth. So I've kind of made a little bit of a plan or schedule for myself uh, to work on um, different books on different days. Uh, how do you guys do that? How do you, all you crafters out there, how do you decide which day you work in which book? Do you just go with how you feel that day and what motivates you that day? I don't know. Maybe that will happen the same way with me. So anyway, I wanted to show you a little bit in the books that I want to work on this year. And uh, one of them is uh, this um, kind of like a vintage uh, junk journal that I have started in. I have done a page or two in here already, but I want to continue in this one. I did my mom's birthday page last year um, and so on and so forth, but I want to make this junk journal a little bit more of a vintage themed junk journal. So I will post a complete flip through of this one yet on a separate video. So I want to work on that one and then, of course, I have a doodle book and a sketchbook that I like to randomly work on. And I haven't, needless to say, I haven't done a whole lot in there. But they're such beautiful books and I absolutely love coloring and drawing as well. So I have to find some time to work in them as well. And I'm hoping this will be the year where I will take the time and do a little bit more drawing and stuff like that and coloring as well. And then here, my doodle book, I've done different things just on the road while we were driving, when I went with hubby and a semi, I've done odds and end pieces in here. But again, there's so many pages that are waiting um, for me to create something on them and I'm looking forward to working in that as well. And then I have my um, traveling junk journal that I want to work on this year. And I have so many years of traveling um, pages that I could create in here. And I have started a different um, traveling junk journal last year, or was it the year before? But I'm not happy with it. So I want to actually turn this one into my junk journal because it suits so perfectly. Let's go on an adventure. 
and I don't know honestly I do not remember where I got it from I feel like I have thrifted it but I can't remember I've had it for a while already and the pages are all designed that I can just write in all my information where we're going and what we're doing but that is not the plan what I have with this book I will probably keep certain prompts in here that I like but other than that I am going to um, recreate the pages and turn it into my own uh, however I want to create and that right we all have our own different ways of of um, journaling so that is my plan I don't want to have just plain writing and uh, that's that I want to also incorporate maps and uh, pamphlets and all kinds of things like that so I would like to also start working in this this year and then I have my ideas book and this book what I started with is I love coloring right I have so many coloring books and I want to start doing flip throughs of all my different books and I think I will have that on Fridays and I'll call it my Friday flip throughs where I will just flip through all my different coloring books and all my different um, botanical and nature books and so on but anyway with that being said I would color my favorite coloring page and then I would cut it out and this is a cutout from a coloring page and then I kind of uh, create a mixed media page out of it which I really enjoyed very much and that's what I want to continue with this book it's going to be called my coloring book uh, mixed media art book and I've done only a couple of pages in here and uh, I just there's so many pages that are just waiting for me to be worked on and it's they're just so enjoyable also a coloring book cutout that was one of my favorites with a little birdie sitting on her shoulder really enjoy doing stuff like this so I want to continue in that and then with that being said here is my um, Daphne's diary uh, junk journal that I also want to work on anything um, <clears throat> that I will cut out of my Daphne diary magazines will go in here and so far I have just created the front cover and I do have a video on that I will link it down below and um, so yeah I've only created the the cover page of it and then I'm planning on filling this up completely with all my um, Daphne diaries magazine cutouts and I'm really looking forward to that and then in this book I have um, this is my mixed media art book and here again there are so many pages I have done pages in here and when it's full I will do a complete flip through of it for you but uh, yeah I need to fill this there's so many pages that uh, some of them I have recorded and will post in the future, but here again, there's so many pages that are waiting to be filled. And then I have this ring binder that my daughter-in-law gifted it to me, and it is just filled with some beautiful pages and pockets. And I need to continue, and I need to not continue, that's... that's back up here a little bit I haven't started in it I want to start in it and then continue in it and it has all kinds of different pages that it came with and you can add a whole bunch more to it and I am really looking forward to working in this as well but you know my question is where do you find the time right I don't know yet what I will turn this binder into I haven't quite decided yet but I am very much looking forward to working in it as well and then of course I have my daily or weekly um, journal that I want to work on and I am creating this one into my daily and weekly journal I have filled out some I don't want to show you just yet until I have finished it but it's going to be filled with some of this in there uh, I'm just going to actually put uh, whatever pages I want in there that 
uh, that speaks to me. Whatever is pretty to me, whatever cutouts I want to add to this book. And this will be my weekly, daily and weekly um, junk journal where I will put in whatever I did that week and those days and that week for a whole year of 2023. So that is that. And then I am going to show you my huge thrift haul. Now, before, just before Christmas, um, I went to the thrift store. I popped in there one day when I went uptown to get my last minute groceries. And lo and behold, those ladies were just bringing out a big box of crafts. And oh my goodness, you guys, I was so excited. And I got so many beautiful stamps. It was just absolutely my lucky day. And so these are all Stampin' Up! stamps that I got for $4.50 and $3.50 and so on. But look at all the beautiful stamps I got and the savings that I got from the, getting these stamps here. I don't know, and, and most of them are new. A few of them have been used, but not much. They are mostly new, and there are so many beautiful ones in here. Now, if the right ones are in the right package, I don't know. I would have to look it up online. But regardless, I am very, very excited to have these. And um, I want to make a plan yet on where to put all my stamps. I have a lot of wooden stamps, and I would love it if I could get a shelf where I could display all my stamps so that I can reach for them easier and have easy access to them. If you have any ideas, please let me know down below. Look at these beautiful long ones. How lovely are they? And if you keep hearing beeping, that's just my dryer. See, this one has been used and all these have not yet. Like so many new stamps. I don't know why somebody would just get rid of them. I guess they were just finished with crafting and just decided to donate them all. But that was definitely my lucky day for sure. So yeah, I got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packages of wooden stamps by Stampin' Up and uh, and you know what I didn't even take nearly all of them that were there there was way more there left yet I just felt too guilty taking them all and then okay so then I got a whole bunch of these clear stamps and they're also all brand new and I took quite a few too, but I did not take all of them. I left some for other people too. So I got so excited over it and I thought, man, there must be another crafter in my town that would be very exciting to purchase these as well. So I left quite a few behind, but my goodness, it's just such a lucky day for me. I was so excited and I couldn't wait to show these to you. And these were all $3 a piece. And as far as I know, I think these are all brand new. Uh, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have eight packages of, of these clear ones. And then I thought, well, I don't have the clear stamps that you need the, for this. I do have a few random ones, but none that are um, for the sizes that I need. And then I kept shopping a little bit further. Um, I will insert a short clip here of me um, getting all these goodies there. And uh, I will maybe insert it at the end of this video. I did record in there a little bit. And then I kept shopping and I saw this. This is also Stampin' Up! And lo and behold, nine pieces of all the clear uh, blocks that I need for the clear stamps. Another very lucky find. I was so excited. Because <clears throat> when I found these, I thought, well, 
yeah, okay, this is great. I have these now, but then what? I don't have the blocks for it. And then when I saw this there, I was like, oh my goodness. I was almost dancing for joy. I was so excited. And this was only $4.50. And then I got another pack of clear stamps. Actually, hang on a second. I got a few of them, but these are not stamping up. But also, looks like that one and that one was used a little bit. Other than that, the rest are new. And uh, I was also very excited. These were only $2.25 each. And I have two. This is a music note one, three, and four. I have four packages of these. Clearly Gina K. I don't know if I've ever heard of them before, but they just have beautiful images in there. I'm so excited to use these. I can't wait. So I got those as well. And then I just had a few other random things that I found there. Got these really large numbers. Also they're at the same thrift store. And all oh, these I actually got from the dollar store. They are among my stash here because I haven't organized this uh, stuff yet that I got. And then I got these. I thought they were so pretty. And then there's just a few different random things. This is also stamping up. I'm not exactly sure what is in here. Let's make something out of it, I believe. What is this? I'm going to take and open it up. Okay, it's to make a, a mini card, I believe. I think if you know what it is for exactly please let me know I just like the buttons and the and the ribbon and things like that that were in it and then I got some wooden um, sayings here with some snowflakes and, and then I got a box of um, these clips they are very nice to use in your junk journals. I love the brassy color on there of these. And this was only 75 cents. Very good deals. And then I got just some uh, lace as well yet. My local thrift store always has lots and lots of lace. And then I got a paper pad which is, I think, almost full yet. It's got really pretty pages. So lots of beautiful pages left for me to use. I hope the lighting will still be good. I am at my in my craft room at my big window, but if the lighting is, if the sun is just in a certain area, then the lighting isn't as good. So, oh, and this, um, a hole puncher as well that I got. For two fifty, so I think I got a really good deal, a really good find. I'm very excited to use these, and now I just need to find a way to organize all my stamps. And if you have a video on how you organize your stamps, please let me know down below, and I will check it out because I need ideas. Here, I will pick you up and show you a little bit of where I keep my stamps but I would like to make a change so right now um, I have quite a few wooden stamps this is all full but I just have them in these 12 by 12 um, crates <clears throat> that one there too is all full of wooden stamps there as well and those are all my flower stamps and then my sayings and my holiday stamps but I would like to have a different organization than this for my stamps. Because now when I want to use a stamp, stamp I got to take this all down. 
and find the right one. I would like to have them all displayed. But I don't know where I will find the room for it in my craft room. But I'm hoping I will find a way of doing so. And then I want to do a new um, craft room tour. And then some of the stamps I have I keep over here. And here as well. And there. So as you can see, they are kind of, kind of randomly in different areas. These are all my food stamps. And uh, I think these are my, these are my birthday and my baby stamps. So yeah, I just kind of have them near my ABC stamps randomly in uh, places. And I'm hoping to find a new way of adding all my new stamps or new thrifted stamps I got. And I'm planning on reorganizing a bit in my craft room and hoping to come up with an idea of better organization for my stamps and when I do I will definitely post a video about it and that is all for today 